Hello everybody and welcome to the Mike from LA1 Network here on YouTube and welcome back to the Daniel Bryan My Career Series here in, in, here in NBA 2K13. This is episode 2. If you guys seen the last episode, Daniel was 3 for 18, 17%, 6 points, 9 assists, 1 steal, and 5 turnovers. And the player of the game, it is... Damian Lillard, not Damian Sandow. How funny is that D Daniel Bryan is facing Dame Damian Sandow for the tag team title. So, but now it's time for the interviews. It's episode 2 and yes it is raining outside as I am recording this. So hopefully we can get this thing done. So I can upload and well, do my uploading while I'm sleeping. And there's the save file. It's, if you guys didn't see in the last episode, it's yes, yes, yes. And the video description is going to say no, no, no. Here we go. Who's the first team that's interested in Daniel's services? Memphis. Okay. Let's see how Daniel feels about that. Nice performance tonight. I'm Gene Evans, president of team operations for the Grizzlies. We have the 25th pick in the draft, and I'm considering using it on you. I'd like to ask you a couple questions real quick, if you don't mind. Aside from a few veterans, this is a very young team. We have a lot of guys that I really believe in, but in the backcourt, I don't feel like we have a player that we can truly build around. Do you think you're good enough to that guy? I definitely do, but I'm a little worried about the talent you currently have in my position. I really feel like I need to be around someone I can learn from, and I don't know that you have that right now. Maybe that's a good thing for me, though. I'd love to step in and start from day one. What better way to learn, right? I don't know about being with the Grizzlies. I mean, they were from Vancouver. Or they originally started that. Interesting. Next question. The Grizzlies are a team with a lot of momentum right now. We went through a rough stretch, had some recent draft picks that didn't work out. With guys like Zebo and Gasol, we really feel like we could be one of the better teams in the West. We like what we've seen out of you, but how do you see yourself fitting in with the team? Yeah, with so many great players on the team already, I know that playing time wouldn't come easy. But with that being said, I would definitely relish the opportunity to compete for time while being on a winning basketball team. I know that either way, we'll all be pushing each other to get better. And ultimately, we'll result in big things for Memphis. Well, that's a lot of good opportunities. So let's see what the GM of the Grizzlies says. Thanks so much for your time. I don't want to get ahead of myself here, but we would be ecstatic if you're still on board when it's our turn to pick. So that's a possibility. We may go to Jerry the King Lawless hometown and... Oh, boy! I know you just got done playing and probably want to catch a shower, so I'll keep this brief. I'm the GM of the Atlanta Hawks. We are strongly considering drafting you with the 23rd pick in the upcoming draft. But we'd first like to ask a couple questions about how you fit in here before we take that step. First question. How did you feel about your game tonight? What stood out to you? I felt pretty good. You know, I could have shot the ball a little better. I could have done some things a little better, but all in all, I think I did okay. Okay, well, you were 3 for 18, so that stood your topic. What's the next question, GM of the Hawks? Is Kicking the Nuts still playing there? Next question. Talk about what you have to improve on as you make the jump to the next level. We'd like to see what you think about your game as a whole. My offensive game is still developing. I like to call it a work in progress, you know? I need to continue taking smart shots, basically take what's given to me. I think I'm coming into this league severely underrated, and I plan on using that to my advantage. Now let's see what the GM of the Hawks says. Okay then, I think we got what we needed. I appreciate you taking the time to meet with us. Alright, so who's next? Oh, Indiana, Frankie Jones. Hey, how's it going? Good game tonight. I'm the scouting director for the Pacers. We currently have the 26th pick in the draft and are narrowing down our list of draft targets. If you wouldn't mind, I'd like to ask you a couple questions. We realize that here in Indianapolis, we don't have the appeal of some of the big market teams. We tend to look for players who would be proud to be part of this organization. Someone who can really take pride in being a member of the Indiana Pacers. We need someone who's willing to spend their entire career as a member of this team. Is that someone you... Okay, Indianapolis. 
Why do we think of this one? To be honest with you, I'm a big city kind of guy. I don't think Indianapolis has the type of vibe I'm looking for. You feel me? I'm, I'm sure you guys have a great organization and a great fan base. It's just, it's not for me. Alright? And boys, they're pouring outside big time. Okay, last question. How important is it for you to be a lottery pick in the draft? Uh, it's not important. It'd be nice to go lotto, but really, to play in this league, that's been a dream of mine for my entire life. That's what I've been working towards. Well said, Daniel. So let's see what the GM of the Pacers says. I appreciate your honesty answering my questions. Best of luck to you in the draft. Well... It is a possibility that Daniel Bryan could be going to the Indiana Pacers. And remember, Eddie was the 19th pick of the draft, I think. I think it's 18 or 19. Let's see where the let's see where the Rockets were. No, 18th. Excuse me. Or or me. So as you can see, they picked Eddie to go to Memphis. I mean, not Eddie, Daniel Bryan to Memphis. Well, Indiana gets... got screwed out of it. But the Atlanta Hawks get Jared Cunningham. So let's take a look. Good evening and welcome to the 2012 NBA Draft. For 60 of the world's most talented and dedicated young players... Oh, that red pillow, because this is probably going to make me fall asleep. Yeah, to find out where Daniel Bryan is going. With the first pick in the 2012 NBA draft, the New Orleans Hornets select... Not for long, because at the end of the year, they're changing their name. So, Anthony Davis will become a New York, a New Orleans Hornet. The, I mean, Pelicans. The Charlotte Bobcats select Michael Kidd Gilchrist. Okay, so this is probably going to be a little boring, so I wish there was some way we could speed this up, but I can't because I don't have the editing software to do it, so yeah. Hallelujah. Oh, it's not Damian Sandow. My bad. Sorry. With the seventh pick in the 2012 NBA draft, the Golden State Warriors select Harrison Barnes from the University of North Carolina. With the eighth pick in the 2012 NBA draft, the Toronto Raptors select Terrence Ross from the University of Washington. With the ninth pick in the 2012 NBA Draft, the Detroit Pistons select Andre Drummond from the University of Connecticut. With the tenth pick in the 2012 NBA Draft, the New Orleans Hornets select Austin Rivers from Duke University. All right, so we're more than, almost to more than halfway to With figuring out where we're going. So Indiana's out, but the, if, if Memphis and Atlanta are out, the best we can go is either to Miami or Oklahoma City. But since Boston is, didn't interview us at all, unlike they did for Eddie, originally...
With the 14th pick in the 2012 NBA Draft, the Milwaukee Bucks select John Henson from the University of North Carolina. With the 15th pick in the 2012 NBA Draft, the Philadelphia 76ers select Mo Harkless from St. John's University. I'm sorry, but it's hard to stay fall asleep with, the 16th pick with David the Stern. NBA draft, the Houston Rockets select Royce White from Iowa State University. With the 17th pick in the 2012 NBA draft, the Dallas Mavericks select Tyler Zeller from the University of North Carolina. And that would have been where Eddie would have fell. And there was Eddie right there when he fell 18th. So here we go, the picks coming up. Yeah, where is St. Bonaventure University anyway? So here we go. So here we go, the picks coming up. Well, it sounds like the more like the Boston suck ticks. So here we go. With the 23rd pick in the 2012 NBA draft, the Atlanta Hawks select John Jenkins from Vancouver. And it looks like it could be Memphis. So we may be invading Jerry the King Lawless hometown. And the birthplace of the, the, the final resting place of Elvis Presley. So we're going to Portland, but unless Memphis passes up, which I don't know, don't know why, but so Daniel Bryan has been drafted to the Memphis Grizzlies, just like I said, as I said earlier, I promised you guys I was gonna come to Memphis. Send a character back to Memphis. Well, Daniel Bryan has been drafted by the Memphis Grizzlies. So as you can see, as you that's the contract offer, which of course there's nothing to negotiate. What are you thinking? So as we get, as you can see, as you can see the, the traditional, the traditional billboard, which we're gonna end today's videos for today. So that is it. So come back next time as Daniel Bryan makes his Memphis debut. See ya.